In a perfect world, all we would need is one distribution. All of the variables would be distributed the same. But the world's far from perfect, and consequently it's more interesting. So we have other distributions. Now in this class we're going to primarily focus on the normal distribution, and I need you though to know that other distributions exist and to be able to work with them a little bit um, so that we can deal with more complicated situations as we move into our third unit. So one of the types of distributions that exists is called the gamma distribution. Now this gamma distribution takes a couple of parameters, alpha and beta, and depending on those parameter values, it can take a lot of different shapes. It can look like an exponential function. It can look like various skewed functions. So it's super useful, like tons of different probability situations and applications. But the gamma distribution isn't the focus that we're going to have. I want to really specifically focus on the chi-square distribution. The chi-square distribution is a specific case of the gamma distribution. Now why this one is important, the chi-square distribution is super useful when we're trying to do statistical inference when we don't have normally distributed variables. And statistical inference is the topic of our third unit. So as we move towards that, we need to know that the chi-square distribution exists and we need to be somewhat comfortable working with it. So that's all there is to this. So I'm going to not put a lot of writing in front of you, not make you read a whole lot of stuff, um, and we'll look a little bit more closely at what this is in class 